What is up everyone? Welcome back to this episode of my South End United career. Last time out, we just, just scraped through into the playoffs. I think it was literally by like a point or maybe even just on goal difference, but we did get here. The first game up is up against Oxford United. This is our semi-final fixture. We look at the calendar, we've got this game and then another one in a week. Just very quickly, of all the things that could have gone wrong, this is our playoff special episode. My microphone completely screwed up, so I'm here pretty much giving you a live commentary over the top once again. This was our team for our first game. We rotated a couple of players around. Most notably, we had Hendry in at centre-back. I thought seeing as we were playing instead of simulating, it wouldn't be too bad. We could help him cope. So Hendry was there. McLaughlin was on the wing, I believe, with McGlashan. But we jump into the game. They start off reasonably well, and then all of a sudden, we really did start to push them. We crossed one ball in here. McLaughlin with the header went miles over. Then after that, Leko, you didn't actually see the touch, but it was, honestly, it was phenomenal. That made it 1-0. And other than that, we pushed them the whole game. They didn't have any chances at all, really. A couple of odd balls in here and there, but we didn't make amends. That was it, actually. It ended up being 1-0. We were at home, so it was actually quite disappointing in the end. I would have wanted to have taken more away for the away fixture because it was definitely going to be a tough one. Everyone in this playoff situation is a big team and all the games are going to be incredibly hard to win. And after that, who was it? Willock. Willock came back from injury. He was off for a little while. And I think eventually Keenan came out. Yes, I did decide to simulate this game. I don't know why it was a stupid thing. Well, it could have been a stupid thing if it didn't pay off. But as you will see, literally within the next minute, we started playing. We were around the 25th minute here, and we were still going. They missed a penalty. I thought that was clearly a sign that it was meant to be for us. We scored one, Anthony Wordsworth. Willock ended up getting subbed off, Tim Lin come on. I don't know if that was an injury or a yellow card. It was a combination of both, I think. So that was that. We made it 2-0. Then we skipped to the end. 2-1. We made it through into the playoff final. This led us straight into the final. It was either going to be up against Wigan or Charlton. Turned out it was up against Charlton. And then it was time for our lineup. Leko, McLaughlin, Nelson. Sorry, not McLaughlin. It was McGlashan. McGlashan was out there with Nelson and Leko. The rest of the team was pretty similar. McLaughlin actually dropped into midfield. That was my error right there. He dropped into midfield. It's a new position for him that we more or less tried out just in this episode for the first time this season. We started off. They beat us once before. We thought it might happen again. And that happened. We conceded a goal. It was absolutely amazing, but it turned out it was offside. We did a nice bit of passing. McGlashan, a little deflection on the way, but it carried it into the net. That made it 1-0. And it's quite hard to kind of explain and comprehend as a game, this one. It wasn't really that much of an exciting game. It was quite dull. We had our chances. Not all of them came off like that when we put words worth there. We got quite, I don't know. I can't even think of the word, but we were really going for it with our set pieces. We were trying new things all the, the time, and it did work out relatively well with quite a bit of success. We cut back there with Nelson multiple times. I don't exactly know what we were doing, but it gave us a penalty. So he decided to step up for it, place it top left, and finished it off. That made it 2-0. And once again, it was a comfortable game. We weren't really strained at all. They basically didn't have any chances or opportunities. Wordsworth was able to come through here. A little finesse through the gap. McGlashan, don't ask me how this happened. He's been okay throughout the season. And then all of a sudden, he turned on the burners. And that was that. That made it 3-0. It's honestly the most comfortable game you could have ever imagined. And it was a playoff final at Wembley. They did get one back. Could it have been a resurgence? I'm afraid not. They didn't really have anything else. That was it. The game actually did end. 3-1. We won the playoffs. As you'll see when the whistle goes in a second. Playoff final is ours. We're going up into the championship. And the real question is, what players are we going to sign next season? That is the dilemma. You'll be seeing us receiving our trophy in a minute. Who do we sign? How do we move on? How are we going to approach the championship? I need your feedback, guys. I need you to let me know who we should sign because at the moment, our team's going to get wrecked. We basically need a whole team refresh. We have so many players that need to be replaced because our average squad age is very old other than, let's say, Nelson, Willock, players like that. Will Nelson leave? He's up at like a 74, 75. He's worth about 8 million. So surely premiership teams, high championship teams are going to come along. We're really going to have it out to just even try and keep him. But like I said, guys, let me know what you think. 
Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Remember to drop a thumbs up on the video as well. It'd be much appreciated if you did like the video. And I'll see you all next time.